Welcome to our channel. Today, we are exploring a critical topic in cardiovascular health, cardiac arrhythmia. Arrhythmias are abnormalities in the heart's rhythm. They can manifest as a heartbeat that is too fast, too slow, or irregular. The heart typically generates electrical signals that dictate the rhythm of each heartbeat. When these signals are disrupted, various types of arrhythmias can occur. To understand arrhythmias, we first look at the heart's anatomy. The heart has four chambers, two atria and two ventricles. The electrical system consists mainly of the sinoatrial node, atrioventricular node, and the bundle of his. The sinoatrial node, located in the right atrium, acts as the natural pacemaker, controlling heart rate by generating electrical impulses that spread through the heart, stimulating contractions and maintaining a regular rhythm. Arrhythmias can be classified based on their origin and nature. Atrial arrhythmias arise in the atria, while ventricular arrhythmias originate in the ventricles. Within these categories, there are further subtypes. Common atrial arrhythmias include atrial fibrillation, atrial flutter, and atrial tachycardia. Atrial fibrillation is the most common and is characterized by chaotic electrical signals that lead to a rapid and irregular heartbeat. It can increase the risk of stroke, as irregular contractions can cause blood to pool in some areas, forming clots. Ventricular arrhythmias can be even more serious. Conditions like ventricular tachycardia and ventricular fibrillation fall into this category. Ventricular tachycardia is a rapid heartbeat that can arise from damage to the heart muscle, often seen post-heart attack. Ventricular fibrillation is even more critical, as it leads to ineffective quivering of the ventricles, preventing blood from being pumped to the body and brain. This can result in sudden cardiac arrest, requiring immediate medical intervention. Symptoms of arrhythmias can vary widely. Some individuals may experience palpitations, which feel like a racing or fluttering heart. Others may have no symptoms at all and may only discover their condition during a routine checkup. More severe symptoms include dizziness, shortness of breath, chest pain, or in extreme cases, loss of consciousness or sudden cardiac arrest. It's crucial to be aware of these signs, as they often necessitate prompt evaluation. Diagnosis of cardiac arrhythmia involves several methods. An electrocardiogram, or ECG, is a primary diagnostic tool. This test measures the electrical activity of the heart and detects any irregularities in heart rhythm. Holter monitors, which are portable devices worn for a day or more, can provide insights into your heart's rhythms over an extended period. Additionally, exercise stress tests may be employed to observe how the heart performs under physical activity. Treatment options for cardiac arrhythmias depend on the type, symptoms, and underlying causes. Lifestyle modifications, such as reducing caffeine and alcohol intake, managing stress, and ensuring proper sleep, can be beneficial for some individuals. Medications like antiarrhythmics are often prescribed to help restore normal rhythm or control heart rate. In certain cases, procedures like catheter ablation may be considered. This minimally invasive technique aims to destroy the small areas of heart tissue responsible for the abnormal signals. Implantable devices, like pacemakers or implantable cardioverter defibrillators, are also common solutions. A pacemaker sends electrical signals when the heart is too slow, while a defibrillator can deliver shocks to restore a normal rhythm during dangerous arrhythmias. Prevention and management are also pivotal. This includes regular checkups, maintaining a heart healthy diet, engaging in regular physical activity, and managing conditions like hypertension and diabetes, all of which can significantly reduce the risk of developing arrhythmias. In conclusion, cardiac arrhythmia is a significant health issue that can range from benign to life-threatening. Understanding the causes, symptoms, and treatments is vital for both prevention and effective management. If you experience any warning signs, consult a healthcare professional promptly. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this information helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more videos on cardiovascular health. Remember, knowledge is power when it comes to your heart. Stay informed and stay healthy.